Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I just started my skincare routine, did a gentle cleanse, and put on my Q10 serum, three drops. It's absorbed, so I'm coming in with my uh, sunscreen. I'm doing the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Again, I love this, super hydrating. Check it out. I did my little top one and I used my cute little flower clamp. I love these. They really do a good job holding. Like normally I have to do two claw clips to keep, claw clips to keep my bun in place, but I can do it with just one. So how festive is that? So it's starting to get hot. Er, I really feel for those of you who have little doggies because it's too hot for their little paws. We're lucky to have shoes. As annoying as it is to be super sweaty, and trust me, sweat comes with its own whole host of issues, not being able to sweat is horrible because you can't cool your body over heat. Um, with age, like when you get to be up there in years, elderly, they don't make sweat as, as readily and uh, you know as efficiently. They're really subject to overheating. If you work out regularly, it kind of conditions you to be a lot more efficient with sweat. If you're looking for any more motivation to get moving, there you go. I've said this before and I really mean it. I really think that a lot of our current health issues, not, I'm not saying it could be solved or completely prevented, but I think it could be substantially lowered in terms of intensity um, by shifting away from our sedentary lifestyle. I think we are just too sedentary. Like the recommendation to get 10,000 steps a day, it's actually, you know, in our modern lifestyle for a lot of people, it's like almost impossible because it's really not that many. It's like what, a mile and a half of walking a day? I snagged some of those Freeman micro dart punches. Stay tuned. I'm trying them out and I have them on my face right now. Um, and they feel kind of interesting. Yeah, they have little micro darts on them that have hyaluronic acid and peptides. And, you know, I've seen those every time I go in there and do a Dollar Tree video, you know, not to talk about them. And it feels so weird to have the micro dart go in. So the idea is that it enhances the penetration of the hyaluronic acid and the peptides into the stratocornium. And then the little darts, I guess, dissolve. It's just gonna plump up the top, you know, the stratocornium hydrated up a little bit more, maybe efficiently. My concern with these is always like, it, it sounds well and good to enhance penetration, but with that comes an increased risk of irritation, especially since with a patch like this, you also you know, have the skin occluded. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way out to run a few errands. The temperature is up there. It's like 101 degrees <laughs> right now. So on my body, I have the Bondi Sands fragrance-free sunscreen. It's one of my favorites because it's not greasy and it's just like, a, it feels like a nice moisturizer, but it, it goes into the skin pretty fast. So it doesn't leave that sticky residue. I am gonna run into the drugstore because I need to pick up a few things. Yeah, I've been loving these claw clamps. Like they really liven up your outfit. They're really cute. And so far the prongs have held up. Like you can tell if you have a cheap claw clamp because it will not last. Um, speaking of which, I was surprised because the brand I really like of claw clamps uh, scrunchy, scrun scrunchy, scrun scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchy. Um, they're really good, but I recently purchased some and like they came broken, uh, like one of the claws. And it was funny too, because this particular scrunchy claw clamp was like reinforced on one, on the tongs with like a rubber, rubber. So to cut down, I guess on, to help with the grip, I, I don't know. And so it's kind of, now it's dangling there on a thread and it's really difficult to fix with crazy glue. So I'm going to have to take that back. Speaking of crazy glue, crazy glue is handy actually if you have cracked feet because you can just put a little drop in the, the, the crack on, your, on the bottom of your foot if you have painful cracks and close the skin together the glue dries and it reapproximates the skin and helps it heal. It, it really does work and it's not dangerous. It's the same stuff that they use like 
surgical glues. The main issue you can run into is if you are allergic to acrylates, uh, which if you are, that's what's like in the nail glue, the, the glues for artificial nails and the like. Yeah, but it, that definitely that definitely works. We recommend that to patients who have painful fissures on the feet, crazy glue. There are certain home remedies, you know, that, that really do seem to work for whatever reason. Like, I've mentioned this on here before, but for toenail fungus, uh, Vicks VapoRub, some people get cure using Vicks VapoRub. It's the wildest thing. It must be like the thymol in the VapoRub, but uh, there's even a clinical study that shows that it that it led to a mycologic cure, you know, like basically they took fungal culture, confirmed that there was, you know, the fungus in there and then they used the, they used the vapor rub and then they got a negative culture after using the vapor rub. Uh, so it effectively cured it in some people. Now, toenail fungus can be really tough to treat because depending on the extent of nail involvement, like how much of the nail itself is involved, uh, because once it gets, you know, to a certain point, there's so much involvement that it, topicals are simply not going to reach it. You have to take an oral medication. And even in those cases, sometimes it can still be difficult. Fingernail fungus is a lot rarer than toenail. Toenail is more common. But the same fungus that causes, not the same fungus, but the same t family of fungus, fungi. The same family of fungi, they're called dermatophytes. They love keratin you know so that's why they invade the stratum corneum uh, and they can invade the nails they can invade the hair you can get ringworm in your scalp uh, and, and 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 they, they like that a urea foot cream can really be beneficial for hydrating the stratum corneum and improving barrier function that same cream could also be used around the nails to cut down on the risk of of nail and, and foot fungus. Now it's not, once you have it, it's not gonna cure those things, but a, a good urea foot cream like carousel, because it softens and exfoliates that stuff that the fungus feeds on, it kind of smooths everything out and gives the antifungal medications that you may be using topically a better chance of actually getting in there, there to, to the skin. Oh man, I'm, I'm tempted to go in Michael's because I'm over here in the Michael's neighborhood again, but I'm not going in there. As I mentioned, what was it, two weeks ago when we went to Michael's, <laughs> I can spend an ungodly amount of time in there. Check it out, you guys. It's that Oxy um, Max Strength. We saw this at, uh, or a version of this at Big Lots. The one at Big Lots was 5% benzoyl peroxide wash, I think, and it was fragrance free. This one is, has fragrance. But y'all know my trick about using that as a body deodorizer. So L'Oreal Paris has a ton of hair care products, but all in their shampoos, they put methyl isothiazole in it. Well, I don't want to say all, but all of these like ever pure products have methyl isothiazole in them. fresh scent. Walgreens used to have a sport sunscreen that was free of fragrance and it was so good. I wish they had not done away with it. So this is a great product if you have dandruff. It's a coal tar shampoo, but very soothing and anti-inflammatory. It's also really good if you get um, a lot of scalp itch. Neutrogena used to make one, you know, tea gel. And that's what this is inspired by, but they have discontinued it, which is unfortunate. I mean, that, they had that product for like decades and decades. I wonder why. I guess it just wasn't selling because honestly, it has an odd odor. Another product though, that's kind of like coal tar shampoo in the way that it works as far as an anti-inflammatory and can just like really soothe itch is Ichthamol. Uh, it's this brown ointment, messy, smells weird, but man, if you have like an itchy, oozy rash, it's like magic. It's very, it's very soothing. Um, I reviewed it last year, a year or so ago. Check it out. Um, it's, it's hard, like you, it's hard to find. I, I don't see it sold in drugstores. I bought it on Amazon. I think it's a lot more popular in Europe, but it's, it works. Update, I'm still using the Dove Dermacare series, the uh, anti-dandruff shampoo and conditioner with zinc pyrithium. Loving it. I love these Maui shampoos. They just, they, they, they need a different, 
type of packaging because it puts out too much volume of shampoo and you end up wasting it. And when you have too much shampoo and you're not able to rinse it out thoroughly or, you know, it just takes more time. If you leave shampoo residue behind on the scalp, it can lead to a lot of scalp irritation. You know, that's actually a major reason for scalp irritation and scalp itch is just shampoo residue left behind. Like I, a lot of people just use way too much because it smells good. So you kind of want to use more, but some of the packaging just encourages it. Um, I'm telling you that shampoo brush, I'm still using it religiously and it has cut down on the amount of shampoo I find myself using even more. Like I'm able to get such a good lather encompassing all of my scalp with far less shampoo than I was using before. Like it just it goes to show that a little bit really does go a long way. I'm, I would be intrigued to try their hair mask. I filmed an empties video for you guys today which should be up at this point. I finished the Trader Joe's hair mask and I also finished a hair mask that was in my one of my FabFitFun boxes so um this looks promising it has coconut oil in it which is good for the hair comment below on if you've tried that as much as I hate single-use things I think when it comes to a hair mask I love the idea of brand selling single-use hair masks because you don't know if you're gonna like it and I would much rather do it one time and see how I like it before com committing to a big tub of it. It may not work out for your hair. You know what I mean? I'm really attracted to this cake brand just because of the packaging, but let me know if you've ever used any of their products. I have not. Sometimes the drugstore has the most like random things, like these little socks. They're kind of cute. I wonder if they're any good. Father's Day stuff on sale. Allo Handsome. Hello, him. Oh, get it? Like, hello? That's cute. Looking sharp. All right. These are cute mugs. I don't play golf, nor do I know anyone who does, but this is adorable. This golf bag with pens. The clubs are the pens. That's really cute. That'd be, that looks like it's the right size for an American Girl doll, too. Right? Am I getting the dimensions right? Kind of looks like it would work for that. Ooh, Walgreens is coming in with the with the uh, travel sizes of things, including their own brand of spray sunscreen that's TSA friendly. The problem with this is if you use this as your body sunscreen, you're going to get less than three applications worth because you need about an ounce of sunscreen to cover all body surface areas, like if you're at the beach we're talking about. And I pointed this out in videos before, but one issue with sprays is if you're using them outdoors, a lot of the product can end up going out in the air and not on your skin. You do need to rub them in too. They're prone to skip areas. Um, in fact, when it comes to putting sprays on your face, it's actually recommended that you spray it into your hand and then rub it into your face to avoid getting it in your eyes and, and inhaling it. A lot of people do like the, the overall texture of the spray though, so I can see that, like the consistency is a lot, is pretty fast absorbing with a spray. Ah, speaking of crazy glue, you get a two pack here for $4.49. Just be careful not to get it near your eyes. Oh, you guys, I was getting in the car and I found, I've been looking all over for this and it must have fallen out and landed in the space between my seat and the door. But this is a sunglass eyeglass case that I got in a Fit Fun Box. I have been looking all over for this thing because I love it for my my glasses, which currently I'm wearing contacts, I have my sunglasses, and I have a case for these. But for my just glasses on days that I'm not wearing contacts, I love having this case to slip them in to keep them from getting scratched, and it went missing, and lo and behold, there it is. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't go give up and buy something to replace it with. <laughs> if you just wait long enough, eventually something will show up in a pocket somewhere. <laughs> Oh man. <clears throat> so while I was in there, I saw, you know, we were talking about uh, fungal infections. And as far as like ringworm uh, and stuff, what you can get over the counter to get rid of it ringworm, jock itch, athlete's foot. The, one of the best antifungals that you can buy without a prescription is uh, terbenafine. Uh, and it's sold under the brand, brand name Lamisil. That tends to work the best uh, for dermatophytes. Clotrimazole, another antifungal you can buy, sometimes can work 
Um, but it works particularly well. Clotrimazole works well for candida yeast, which is not a dermatophyte. But unfortunately, uh, we're getting ca these cases of super drug-resistant dermatophyte skin infections. Dermatophyte is, is what causes ringworm, jock itch, uh, uh, toenail fungus, fingernail fungus, uh, athlete's foot. Derma those are dermatophytes that cause those. And we have this emergence of antifungal resistant dermatophytes that are very tough to treat. Coming out, started, originated in, in areas um, in like Bangladesh, for example. They have a lot, of, a lot of cases of this. And it's really tough to treat. And it's thought that the selective pressure that allowed for this to emerge, for this resistance, is the fact that um, there, they can get anti, they can buy without a prescription very potent steroid creams. And very potent steroid creams used inappropriately, they, you know, if you treat a, a fungal skin, inf a dermatophyte infection with a, a steroid cream, sure, it will temporarily feel and look better. But what you're doing is you're really making the fungus very, very comfortable because you are essentially suppressing your body's local surveillance there. So the surveillance, the immune system, is what makes the ringworm itchy, inflamed, miserable for you. And the, the reason that's happening is releasing all sorts of things in an effort to attack the foreign invader. But you see, if you go putting steroid cream on there and suppressing that, when you have a dermatophyte, well, then it makes the dermatophyte really, really happy because there's nothing there to really be chipping away at it. And so if you, you couple that with antifungals, well, then you start to get a situation where the dermatophyte suddenly... It's, it's not as easy to kill them. And then you get a, a, a population of them that emerges, which are suddenly no longer gonna, gonna respond to traditional antifungals. Well, hey guys, I'm out of the shower. Ignore that humming and a buzzing in the background as I, as I adjust your, your tag is hanging out in the back. I'm just fixing it for you. Um, that is my robot vacuum judging in the background there. Wouldn't you know it, 2023, you can shampoo your hair and vacuum your rug at the same time. Uh, and naturally, it wants to come in here when I get ready to talk to you all. So I've got a video that's gonna be coming out, maybe it's already up, on like anti-aging secrets, if you will. And one of the things I emphasized in that video is that you need to stay moving, active, Sedentary lifestyles, I really do think, are driving us towards adverse health as a population. It doesn't matter what country you are in, you know, some areas of the world have better walkability by and large, but we are just, as a society in general, a lot more sedentary. There's just so many technological conveniences, like, shoot, I don't even have to vacuum my own rug, right? Um, which is nice, you know, I can do other things, but all that to say, like, it's really important to be mindful of how much you're moving around to keep your circulation going. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a fact of life is that that mobility, you know, it, it, it's necessary to, to keep you healthy. Let me show you up close these hair claw clamps that I was chatting with you guys about earlier. Aren't they adorable? I just have one in here, but I have all of them out in a, like a little basket because I like to have these nearby and accessible one online need to get my hair out of my face asap um aren't they cute this is the orange one they're kind of like from a 70s vibe which i like but i also have these which i like for i use these at night so see my hair is completely dry pretty much i mean yeah it's a little damp but it's not like dripping soaking wet uh, i put that comb that uh moroccan oil product through and then I just do like this to get my hair loosely up off my face. And I'm gonna go do computer work. I'm gonna go do computer work for about an hour uh, and before going to bed. And then by the time I go to bed, take this down, uh, my hair is you know completely dry and I'm good to go. Um, and I sleep with my hair 
down and dry. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you're having a great weekend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.